Hello everyone and welcome to Fun To Be Free. Today's journey brings us to Disney's Port Orleans Resort, French Quarter, coming up next. Hey Explorers, John with Fun To Be Free inviting you to follow me as we discover fun together. Let's go. We're here at Disney's Port Orleans Resort French Quarter with its collection of seven buildings in the north and south quarters that features 1,008 guest rooms where you can revel in the romance and pageantry of New Orleans historic French Quarter. This resort is situated along the banks of the Sasagula River, surrounding the Dubloon Lagoon Pool and the French Quarter Landing Boat Transportation. Step through a wrought iron portal into an alluring recreation of the historic New Orleans district at Disney's Port Orleans Resort, French Quarter. Bring your carnival attitude to the lively Big Easy and discover cobblestone streets, gas lamps, wrought iron balconies, along with colorful Mardi Gras characters and the sounds of jazz at this moderate resort hotel. Stay tuned because we're going to find out more details about the complimentary boat transportation that will transport you and your family over to Disney Springs. This resort has only one centralized bus stop near the lobby area. Bus transportation is offered from this resort hotel to whisk you away to most Walt Disney World Resort destinations, including Magic Kingdom Park, Epcot, Disney's Hollywood Studios, Disney's Animal Kingdom theme park, with a transfer to Disney's Blizzard Beach Water Park, and Disney Springs, also with a transfer to Disney's Typhoon Lagoon Water Park. Let's proceed through these sets of automatic doors into French Quarter Square's front desk interior. We're now inside of the lobby area. There's the registration area and the front desk for check-in. Behind the registration desk, with the old-fashioned bank teller windows, is a vibrant Mardi Gras mural. Check out this television set, where junior explorers can watch popular Disney programming while their parents check in. At Jackson Square, Gifts and Desires, you can savor the spirit of New Orleans with Mardi Gras mementos and hotel logo items. This merchandise location offers a collection of souvenirs, ranging from small trinkets like keychains and pins to Disney princess and pirate themed wares. And we're immediately greeted by Tiana from Princess and the Frog Merchandise. They even carry resort specific merchandise items. Towards the rear of the store are the sweet treats and snacks. Now let's reverse our direction and head back into the registration area. And head towards this hallway here. 
down to the South Quarter Games Arcade. Now let's head over to the opposite side of the building. Dine like a true Mardi Gras party goer at the Sasagula Floatworks and Food Factory, where the festive vibe of Mardi Gras is celebrated every day. Enjoy delicious counter service staples along with some New Orleans classics in this spacious, sweet magnolia of a food court. Let's take a look at the delectable menu choices. This food court offers souvenir specialties, along with seasonal entrees, more specialties, burgers and chicken, sandwiches, pizza and pasta, salads, kids Disney check, kids meals, sides, and additional desserts. In this dining section, you can find ample indoor seating. While you enjoy your meal, spot larger than life Mardi Gras beads hanging from the ceiling and Mardi Gras float parade props being stored in this factory setting. If you're feeling like some dessert after your meal, you could head back in this direction. The Scat Cats Club is where you can unwind in this New Orleans style lounge with some jazz music true to the great sounds of the French Quarter. Let's see the mouth-watering menu choices. Mickey-shaped beignets are also available here and they're available from early morning well into the late evening. Be sure to look for seasonal flavors such as gingerbread around the holidays and the now famous Baton Rouge beignets, which are filled with your choice of Bailey's, Kahlua, or Rum Chatta for guests 21 and over. Let's proceed through these doors and back outside. Here's a quick look at the back side of the lobby. There are seven three-story guest room buildings, all with exterior corridors adjacent to the Sasagula River. These charming buildings feature prim pink and blue structures that are festooned with wrought iron filigree, shuttered windows, and old-fashioned iron lampposts. Standard view rooms are the most economical room type, followed by garden view, and you can find both of them here at building one. Garden view rooms can also be found throughout this resort in all seven buildings. River view rooms are located in the buildings along the Sasagula River, like this building. Boats traveling to Disney's Port Orleans Riverside and Disney Springs pass by river view rooms frequently. This resort hotel is landscaped with magnolia trees and overgrown vines. Here in building two, you can find river view rooms along with the extremely popular pool view rooms.
The most convenient guest rooms that are close to the lobby, dining, and bus stop are the standard or garden view rooms here in Building 3. Likewise, here in Building 4 is one of the most convenient buildings near the lobby and also offers standard or garden view rooms. Near the Sasagula River, here at Building 5, you'll find river view rooms. Pool view rooms are also offered in Building 5 as well. Movies Under the Stars is shown on the green between Buildings 5 and 6. This is where you can cozy up for a favorite Disney film, showing outside in the night's fresh air, and enjoy relaxing evening entertainment that's fun for the whole family. Both Garden View and River View rooms are offered in Building 6, and each building also has elevators. Standard and River View rooms are located at Building 7 as well. If you're looking for a quiet room location, book a Standard or Garden View room and request Building 1 or 7. These buildings will have far less people walking by and you're far enough away from the music playing at the pool. Have you considered requesting a second or third floor room if you're looking for peace and quiet or for more privacy? Rooms on the upper floors won't have as much foot traffic either. Let's head back towards the center of the resort. Look at these guys here. They're an all alligator band, welcoming us to the pool area. The playground is located between the doubloon pool and French Quarter Square front desk. Junior explorers from two to 12 years of age will enjoy this playground where they could run free. It features soft textured surfaces and slides designed for maximum playtime interaction. Have a taste of what New Orleans has to offer at the Marty Grog's Pool Bar and enjoy a drink inspired by the Big Easy. This watering hole offers a full selection of specialty cocktails, frozen drinks, draft beer, and wine. Offerings include sandwiches and salads, kids meals, beverages, and featured cocktails like all that jazz frozen cocktail and you could even sip on a classic hurricane. There's even a patio area located next to the pool. Dive into the Mardi Gras celebration at the Dubloon Lagoon Pool and enjoy some watery fun. Parade around this Mardi Gras themed pool area where King Neptune sits astride a giant sea serpent. Festive decorations, an all alligator band, and a thrilling slide down scales. The 51 foot long snaking sea serpent water slide whose tongue deposits you into the Dubloon Lagoon Pool with a mighty splash that plunges you into the magic of New Orleans. Some of the poolside activities that take place here are Name That Disney Tune, Goofy Bingo, Disney Trivia, Name That Walt Disney World Attraction, and more. The aquatic play area is next to the Dubloon Lagoon Pool and features child-sized water slides, water cannons, and fountains. To fit the theme of the resort, the equipment is all colored in Mardi Gras gold, 
purple, and green. If we were to follow this walking path, it would take us to Disney's Port Orleans Riverside. The river cruise to Disney Springs and Riverside loading dock is just down the walkway to the right hand side. At the French Quarter Landing Boat Transportation's dock, you could embark on a fictional adventure aboard the Sasagula Steamboat Company's vessels, which navigates the waters up and down the Mississippi River Delta. Take a leisurely boat ride on the Sasagula River Cruise with destinations to either Disney Springs or travel next door to Disney's Port Orleans Riverside Resort. During your 20 minute journey aboard this cruise to Disney Springs, take in the scenery and relax with the welcome breezes sailing along the banks of the Disney created Sasagula River, a gentle two and a half mile waterway that winds its way through lush woods to the Disney Springs shopping, dining and entertainment complex featuring more than 150 venues. Ferry boats operate daily from 10 a.m. to 11 p.m., weather permitting, and arrive approximately every 20 minutes. Your entire family can let the good times roll while staying at this moderate resort hotel. Now it's time for a Disney's Port Orleans Resort French Quarter flashback. Here we are near the Sasagula River, but sadly, our journey's come to an end. With that said, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, follow me on Instagram and Patreon. Until next time, see you later, explorers.